Good morning. Second Chronicles chapter 29. In the time of great despair, the spiritual dissolution, King Hekaziah ascended from the throne of Judah at the age of 25, and he inherited the kingdom Thash by the idolized of his father Ahab. And the temple that lay in ruins was overshadowed by years of neglect and sin. But Hekaziah was different. From the very beginning of his reign, he sought to honor the Lord and restore the covenant. He understood that the true leadership begins with humility before God. We cannot continue like this, he declared. It is time to return to the Lord. With a great resolution, he summoned the priests and Levites, urging them to con, uh, conceit, con, or concentrate themselves into this. Do not be ne neglected, he employed. The Lord has chosen to stand before him and to serve his house. The priest responded with eagerness, ready for cleanse for the temple and the idols and restore worship of the one true God. They set up their work, removing the filth and defilement, and over time they acclimated to getting back to God. As the days passed, the temple began to shine once more, a place of holiness and reverence. Hekaziah understood that the heart of the nation was tied to the heart of the temple. He longed for his people to return to true worship. Once the temple was ready, Hekaziah gathered the people of Judah. Come and see the house of the Lord, he called. Let us make a covenant with the Lord and bring our offerings, for he is a merciful and gracious Lord. The response was overwhelming. The people poured into the temple with offerings, grateful for a chance to turn back to God. Their hearts were softened and the nation began to heal. In a significant celebration, they restored the worship of the Lord, offering sacrifices and praises for him and his goodness. Hekasai's leadership brought the people back together, united them in their devotion. So the story of King Hekaziah is a powerful reminder that the transformative power of repentance and renewal. This week I encourage you to reflect on your own spiritual life. Are there any areas where you need cleansing and restoration? Just as Hekasiah led his people back to the Lord, we can choose to return to him in our own hearts so share with your friends your family have someone to talk to commit to building a life where you can center worship and devotion to the lord you look at what's going on in your life what is calling your heart towards and away from god wherever it's away from god that's where you ask for your praise prayers from your friends and family get on your knees come to the lord and repent Go back to the Lord. The Lord is always ready for you. You know how far you got. Um, read the prodigal son and you can learn more. And one day at a time we'll get through the entire book of the Bible. Have a blessed day.